um, I'm deciding that these are like the perfect glaze thing to have anyway. Um, and they're good even if you have a five gallon bucket of glaze. You, um, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because you can pour it. You can pour it. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to do the inside of this cup and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fill her up pretty good and dump it out as I spin. Yeah. All right, so this is just one technique. Um, so it does these things if stuff like this bothers you or we find out that oh this glaze runs a lot or this glaze does doesn't mix with that glaze very well it anytime you have any overlap in glaze you're going to find out what happens with it some of these things are very um static like I don't know how this glaze is going to turn out but it's a glossy black and it seems as though it will probably eat everything that you put on there and you wouldn't be able to tell it if that's the case it's probably a good one to make a mark on the outside of your when pot when you with. say eat everything it means it will like it will, it'll it will, overtake it it'll over, overrun it overpower it over just suck it up and, 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 and it'll include be black. it in itself okay. and it'll just be black okay. um i don't know all right these are these are new glazes to me as well so um if you are trying if you're going for a clean line here then you would wipe these things off. Um, Do they? The wet side. <laughs> that will come off? Yeah, it oh, will come okay. off. It's gonna leave this. Um, a couple things happen when you start doing stuff like this. You're adding water to your, um, to your pot, which means that um, any glaze that you put on there is probably not gonna be absorbed very well where it's wet. So, um, and I'm making a bigger mess, um, but that's okay, this probably, probably won't show through. It's. Uh, so I'm going to leave that just like that for a minute and let that um, let that dry and go on to this is another lesson in step away from your pot, let it dry. Um, this is helpful when um, that technique is helpful when you're doing something that is uh, too big to dip this way. Um, I would I I could pour this out into a wider container mm -hmm. and there's almost uh, I was gonna bring I have like a dish pan uh, yeah and um, dish pans you can use we probably have um, something here that we can use um, you could I have a um, like one of those little oil like when you change the oil in your car it's low and wide great for a plate to dip in you're not gonna get a plate you could pour over you can get yourself a bucket a dry an empty bucket and pour your glaze over that's one technique um, and I might do that for um, for some of these but right this very second I'm going to um, that's the bone this is bone so I'm going to put that inside this and if somebody wants to grab me a bucket, then I'll show um, just one of the, like, or, or, oh, underneath the thing there. That, where's that orange one? Right. Um, again. <laughs> Don't drink it. Um, all right, so I also might, at this point, decide, like, okay, like I'm gonna, I, I typically don't get too worried about it unless I'm specifically trying to do something mm -hmm. like keep the line uh, clean. Uh, I'm gonna do this on the outside of this, and I'm hoping that that's spearmint. Mm -hmm. So as far as the glaze, did you like purchase a big bulk glaze and then throw your own stuff in it, or you started everything from no, scratch? No, everything is started from scratch. Okay. Um, and we can, I can show you um, recipes and that type of thing. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is like a glaze mixing class too. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then we can, you know, develop glazes here. Uh, it's really so you got the bottom of that. You're going to wipe that off? I or? am. I'm going to okay. wipe that off completely. So this like this is dry already here. You can see where it's wet still. Mm -hmm. So I can touch this. Um, I might decide to go ahead and dip it this way right back into the spearmint. Um, or I might try a different glaze on top of there. And this answers your question about can you, can you? That one's you can Rossiana. do anything. It's just you never know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> oh, Rossiana, not what I wanted. Not That's what I wanted, sorry. This blue, very, blue. Yes, very good. Thank you. <laughs> 
variegated. So some of these, uh, you never know how they're going to react to one another. Um, I did not, I specifically did not do that exactly um, straight in there. And I might even like, I'll do it on a different one. Um, so you're so we're gonna find out a couple of things we're gonna find out I I dipped the first one in up to here you can kind of see that line I'm mm -hmm. sorry and then um, then I dipped it this way in the blue up to there so there's a little probably half oh, inch wow. rim around there um, and it, it's not on a uh, it's sort of on a little bit of a you know I, Angle. I did I did I might have you know whatever um, that'll help it to move in a certain direction if it's going to move um this may stay just like it is and be very static with a line across it it might um bubble up into some weird thing that you think oh god i'd never use that on anything again and then you know turn around in six weeks and say oh wow i've got this sculpture that they look really cool on <laughs> so um <laughs> there's a lot to do but we're going to find out a lot of things we're going to find out what this glaze looks like on this clay body we're going to find out what these two glazes look like together here. We're going to find out what this glaze looks like on this clay body. And then we're going to find out what this glaze and this glaze looks like on this mm -hmm. clay body. There's lots of ways that you can do glaze tests and get a bunch of different um, results. I'm going to do this on the bottom of all my pots. And I'm going to wipe it clean, ladies, clean. Otherwise, it will glue itself. <laughs> it'll, to stick to the, uh, it'll stick to the kiln shelf. And um, you then, you, then you'll have to scrape it. You'll be sad. <laughs> right. Well, now I'm going to go back over. And I can go on the same angle, kind of. Or I could go back in. I could come and do this on a different angle. Um, that's a little bit low for my um, sense of security rules. When you're dipping edges, try not to go past a third of one third down until we really know where these are going. Until you oh, because until you know right, until you know how a glaze behaves, stick to the rule of thirds. Stay with a second coat of anything, whether it's even the same coat of the a, a second coat of the same thing or <clears throat> another another color. Some this some portions of this have three, you know, colors on them. The clear, the black and the variegated blue so we're going to find out what they all do to each other um yeah we're going to find out lots of things so lots then, of things if here you didn't like it you could re-dip the bottom of that with whatever you put on that i could wipe it off and re-dip i could mm -hmm. sure do that um yep it's uh it'll change your design on it. it'll change the design yeah. here yeah is it because it's too close to the bottom yeah the, i mean it I think that these glazes are pretty, um, pretty static, but there could be some movement and, you know, you don't want it to drip down. You so don't want it, it to drip down onto the, um, onto the shelf. shelf and ruin the shelf and your piece, especially. But you've already got glaze on the bottom part. So, mm -hmm. so it's the second coat you don't want too close to the bottom. Is that right? right. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yes. And okay. even when like mine all kind of, when I, when I throw and when I, I trim this off, I do all my trimming on my cups on the wheel. Um, there's kind of like a little a little lip right there, a little mm -hmm. uh, divot that's gonna do, well, it's gonna hold, it's actually, you know, that little tiny bit will actually mm -hmm. hold a lot of. That um, divot? That divot, same, same, kind, of, same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll probably go back and, and wipe that up to, the, to that ah, okay. line right there, just because this one, um, doesn't have any of that so I'm probably even I, I may even go back I don't because I don't know how these glazes are going to behave I might even go back and I'll do that again a little make it a little higher um, it's not that way. it's uh, aesthetically it's not gonna ruin it but dripping it off the shelf would. <laughs> so well, that's yeah. all right. That's all right. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna dip that in there. 
to there. So I'm going to take longer to dry than others, but you can you can see it's drying. It's getting right sucked right in. Yeah, it's, it's sucking right in there. Um, and then I'm going to go back, and then um, I can I can do my best to meet this line. Um, I you'll see on that um, chalice. Goblet, yes, chalice. Goblet. Um, it's there's actually a space where I missed and uh, didn't there was quite no get glaze. there. I don't. I leave those alone. That's just fine with me. Um, anything that you do, it's a mark of a um, of a human. Yes. You know, and it'll be there long before, long long after we're gone, it'll be there. And so there's your, you know, your mark. Though, thus, it, even though it's a an accident or whatever, um, they can be charming. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. I think they're charming. I like it's handmade. Work. And then um, I could go in here straight, or I could go in here on a smidge of an angle, and um, I'm not spending a lot of time in there. I'm not I'm dipping and getting out. Um, the longer you put it on there, the thicker your uh, glaze is going to be. Variegated slate looks um, one way when it's thinner. I'm saying thinner is the winner. On this one. <laughs> um, and... Thicker, it does. It it will move. It moves a little bit, and which is nice. Um, but it becomes much more intense. And again, when you say it moves a little bit, it drips, drips or shifts it's a little bit. It moves. Shift, it'll okay. Move a little. This is <laughs> so it. Like, if we're not a straight it. line. It might be a. It'll yeah. It might have a little mm -hmm. edge to it. Okay. And that's fine. Um, yeah, and we don't know. This is all. This is all a grand experiment. You are part of it. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go do this one first and then dip it because. Um, must you glaze the inside? Yeah. Okay. It is nicer if you are drinking out of it yeah. to glaze the inside. Yeah. I mean, it's no, just, dr it's dry. Mm -hmm. It's not a, um. I mean, it won't absorb. It'll absorb some, it will stain. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, of course. Yeah. Uh, the purpose of a glaze the purpose of a glaze is to like create a, a wax coating um, <laughs> mind your neighbor's like work. um okay so this happened on here i might just like do that to correct the splashes okay um that'll leave a something um and then when that dries off the end so like how are we going to get that in I could dip it this way and then turn it over and, and dip it this way. I could try to do it this way. It's probably going to fall out of my hand into the bucket anyway. So I'm going to wait till everything is really dry and I'm being very careful on these. Those edges are sharp. That's a great, the, it'll not sharp, like it's going to hurt, but sharp, like it'll chip off there very easily. Yeah, some dropped in there. Um, I'm going to stir all the way to the bottom and I'm making sure every time that there's stuff like out of the corner down there and the, across the bottom, just get it moving. And then I'm going to go ahead. And, oh. <laughs> and I'm going to go back and put it the other way if it ever dries. So that, this one takes a little bit longer to dry. You can see the. It's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. This one should um, should sit in these little oh, yeah, crevices yeah. Mm -hmm. nicely. It could also drip down from there. So um, notice the difference between this one and this one. The direction. Um, the direction oh. of the thing. So this has got the 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 thickest, deepest part is uh, of that. At the bottom. It, at the bottom. Yeah. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one has that uh, at the top, and it's actually got, like, some of these are on such an angle that that's it's probably going to run down a little bit. That's nice. going to create something cool. Um, nice. If I put it on this way, that, you know, if, if the marks were on the pot this way, if this was up right side up, they might run out this way, and it wouldn't necessarily pool in there. As nicely as I think it would looks, I think it looks better a lot of times with this. So you'll get like a nice um, pool. They call it a pool anyway. Are we making? 
Uh, so say it was a plate or something, it was too big for these things, we can just pour it over. That's probably plenty. It, it also, it makes different shapes on your, um, on your pro, you know, on your finished uh, piece. So we would just go back and dump it in. And you can, you know, you can turn them, you can do several pours. You could maybe, um, you know, hey, I want to try <laughs> so so I had that V going down this right there mm -hmm. and then it'll have another one right there so it could be it could be interesting so I'm waiting to waiting mm -hmm. for that guy to dry up because I want him to stay a drop <laughs> yeah that's cool um Literally watching paint dry. <laughs> it's a good time to breathe. Yeah, it is. And it's taking its time. Yes, it is. Blow on That's it. That's going to be an <laughs> impressive dot. I know, right? It's a thirty million dollar dot. Okay. Is there a color under that, or that's fresh? There was a couple colors under yeah, there. Yeah, I forget which one was there. Hello. Hey. Hi. Baha, just the guy I want to see. 